Um, but at any rate, good evening. I'm Susan Ellenberg, and I'm running for San Jose Unified School District Board of Trustees. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure every day won't be like this, though. <laughs> I actually want to begin by acknowledging the phenomenal crowd that's gathered here this evening. And um, it actually reminds me of my wedding, when Steve and I... Uh, I'm going to connect this in a good way. <laughs> When the, the rabbi asked me and Steve to turn away from him and look at the people that were gathered um, to celebrate with us, and I turned and looked out into the sanctuary, and I found it filled with people that I knew from so many different aspects of my life, and I felt powerfully and gratefully connected and supported and cared for. This crowd is not dressed quite as formally, but you still <laughs> look pretty terrific. Um, and I'm grateful for your presence and your support here tonight, and I am incredibly proud to be part of this community. I know that you're here tonight either because Steve twisted your arm or because you're actually interested in hearing why I'm running for a school board. <laughs> so I'd like to answer the question for those of you who are curious by starting with a story. This is the story of a 15-year-old student at a San Jose Unified uh, High School. She's a good kid basically flies under the radar of her teachers and her school administrators. Her grades are below average, and she's in danger of not passing enough classes to graduate in two years. Her teachers often admonish her for not having her homework finished. They offer to help her during her advisory period, but she rarely shows up. <laughs> the student works hard to maintain her anonymity, and as a result, the teachers have no idea of the real reasons why she doesn't turn in her homework. It's not because she's lazy or unmotivated, or not even because she has trouble learning. Her parents value education and have told her that it's important. However, her parents have their own struggles. Often this child, the student, has no dinner waiting for her, and she's too hungry and too distracted to do her homework. Her housing situation is unstable, so she doesn't have a consistent, reliable place in which to keep her school supplies and do her work. The student faces barriers that ex barriers to her education that extend far beyond those that can be addressed by any particular methodology. Yet she's a student at a San Jose public school. It is she and hundreds of students just like her that inspire me to run for trustee and create opportunities for her success. It is her right to receive an excellent education, one that will prepare her for college or for a career in one of the most high performing successful yet stressful and competitive areas of our country. So how can we accomplish this monumental task? Not alone, that's for sure. Look around you. In this backyard are gathered community leaders in nonprofits, community-based organizations, businesses, philanthropic foundations, and government. We are all part of the solution, and we need to come together to support all of the students of our community to ensure that they arrive at school ready to learn and equipped with the resources they need to succeed. So this is why I'm running for trustee. I'm a parent of a San Jose Unified student. I'm also a mentor to a small group of students at Lincoln High School. I've visited the other schools in the district area and have met with administrators, teachers, and principals, and, and parents at principals' coffees and PTSA meetings and at open houses. I've seen firsthand the challenges facing students, teachers, and administrators. This district needs a new voice, one who will bring energy, drive, and the passion to do the hard work necessary to change our district for the better. As a trustee, I'll continue to be a regular presence at the schools. I'll engage with the parents, teachers, and administrators. And above all, I will be an advocate for all students. As many of you know, with virtually no public engagement or input, the school board recently reduced the number of credits required for graduation. This policy is absolutely the wrong solution to a very real crisis, and we're already seeing ripple effects that will have unintended negative consequences. Greater and, public, greater and earlier public involvement would have exposed the serious flaws in this action. As of several days ago, half of the PLUS counselors and staff members at Lincoln have been let go. The reduction in PLUS staff members, uh, teachers and counselors, 
means that the students who need those effective programs will have instead to join the credit recovery classes, essentially repeating the same traditional classroom experiences in which they were previously unsuccessful. In addition, Trace Elementary just lost 1.7 full-time teachers and is facing the possible elimination of its orchestra class. Excellence in education means not only the acquisition of basic competency skills of math, reading, and writing, but the nurturing of creative analytical thinking, helping students find their passions, developing non-cognitive talents and strengths, and preparing students to thrive in the 21st century. With this new policy, low achieving students are essentially being told that they don't need the classes that foster creativity, celebrate a variety of intelligences, or enhance their critical thinking skills. Those students should simply double down on a very narrow range of academics and leave the most enriching experiences to others. We can't take away the tools and resources that students need to succeed and then fault them or their teachers for not achieving excellence. I have the drive, the energy, and the community relationships to be an effective advocate for all of our students to achieve excellence. I teach social justice to middle school students like those girls right there. <laughs> I have a son at University of Washington and a daughter at UC San Diego. My youngest child is a rising sophomore at Lincoln High School. I've interacted with students at parochial, secular private, traditional public, and charter schools. Regardless of the school environment, I know that kids are kids. They need support. They need to have the tools and resources that will enable them to learn and succeed. They need adults who care about them access to learning experiences that foster creativity and encourage independent thinking, and they need to understand that every one of them has intrinsic value. So you've heard lots of eyes in this speech, but of course, ultimately this campaign isn't about me, but about what we can do together. I intend to lead a broad community campaign, and for that, I would appreciate lots of help. So I'm looking to you the leaders of our community, advocates for education, for affordable housing, for safe neighborhoods, for healthy kids, for the arts, and for broad-based economic prosperity. I want all of you. I encourage you to endorse my candidacy, contribute financially, talk to your friends, post about the campaign on social media, and of course, for those of you who can, vote. Surprise. You're all in my campaign team, so thank you and welcome aboard. Yay.